I'm Charles Fadel, founder of the Center for Curriculum Redesign. Artificial intelligence is having enormous impact on our lives and increasingly so in the coming decades. Of course, education will not be immune. In this segment, we'll be talking about what the consequences are. In other words, what should we be learning in an age of artificial intelligence and robotics and so on? It's a profound question because, of course, search has already upended what we need to remember, but certainly we need to know how to search and where to search. Imagine for a moment that we also have intelligent agents that help us analyze and synthesize information. Well, what is exactly essential knowledge in that world? This is an important question, of course, for curriculum designers and policy makers, because what we teach is of great importance. And it's a question that has seen less uh, focus in the past decades than now. Now there's a renewed interest in rethinking the question. So if you think about what we need to learn, it falls into four categories. There's of course knowledge, and we'll talk about how to modernize that. Then there's also how you use your knowledge, your skills. And by that we mean creativity, critical thinking, and so on. Then there's your character, how you behave and engage in the world, meaning your curiosity, your mindfulness, your leadership, your ethics, etc. And finally, in an age where reflection and adaptation are at a premium, it is very important to pay attention to this fourth dimension of an education, which is the meta layer, in other words, meta learning, metacognition, and a growth mindset. Keeping in mind all of these four dimensions, now let's go back to knowledge. Knowledge needs to be modernized. It's still extremely important. In other words, there is no such thing as learning critical thinking in thin air. It has to be applied to something, and that something is knowledge. And the disciplines as we have constructed them are not going away anytime soon. However, the mix of modern disciplines versus traditional disciplines has to be rethought. Why so much only of the traditional disciplines and no focus on, say, technology and engineering? We call STEM, but we don't do any technology and engineering per se. Why not entrepreneurship? Why not media? Why not social sciences? So rebalancing modern versus traditional disciplines matters. But even within the traditional disciplines, why so much trigonometry in an age that doesn't require as many land surveyors and woodworkers, and so little, say, statistics and probabilities in an age that requires a lot of data scientists and so on? So that's how we can rethink what matters. First, rethinking the disciplines in terms of within a discipline, what makes sense in a modern age. Then the mix of traditional and modern disciplines. And then, of course, this matrix between the disciplines and skills, character, meta-learning. The combination of all these things is extremely enduring to the disruptions that will be upon us due to artificial intelligence. That is what makes it critical for all of us to learn, and more importantly, reflect that in curricula and assessment.